today we are going to talk about secret shopping full time if you want to make more money real money on your own schedule grab a pen and paper grab a cup of tea or beverage of your choice and let's get down to business because this is going to be good <music> What's up shoppers? Welcome to Info Shook. I'm Dee and I share insider information to help you maximize your earnings as a secret shopper. In today's video, we're going to be discussing three of the most common questions asked about secret shopping. Now there are tons of questions that people ask about secret shopping, but today we're going to discuss three. Now, real quick, if you're interested in learning more about secret shopping and you don't have yours already, the secret shopping guide and the tracking sheets are now available. Get yours today. The link is in the description. Also, check out my channel for more helpful videos. Now, before we begin, I do want to let you know that I have covered each of these questions and other questions as well in some of my videos on my channel but let's discuss these a little more. So the first question is, of course, what is a secret shopper? A secret shopper, also known as a mystery shopper, is a market researcher who poses as a regular customer to evaluate the quality of products, the quality of service, customer experience, and the goal of the secret shopper is to pull together or gather objective and unbiased information on how the business is performing, uh, their customer service, the employee behavior, whether or not they're adhering to company policies, and just the overall customer experience. Secret shoppers are typically hired by market research companies or they may be even hired directly by businesses themselves. They are given specific instructions on what to observe, evaluate, or ask about during their visit or their interaction with the business, say for instance, if it's a phone call or if it's an online observation. And this can include aspects uh, in person such as cleanliness, product knowledge, staff friendliness, how quickly they respond, what sales techniques they use, and whether or not they comply with regulatory guidelines and uh, any other number of factors could be evaluated. So after a secret shopper completes a secret shopping assignment, the mystery shopper will submit a detailed report to the hiring company or the secret shopping organization. And this report usually includes observations, ratings uh, based on predefined criteria and feedback. The information that a secret shopper collects will help the business identify strengths and weaknesses uh, that the business may have. It'll help them improve their customer service. It will help them enhance um, their employees' performance and, and help them to make informed decisions on just how to overall enhance the customer's experience. So it's very important to know, guys, that if you want to become a secret shopper, um, these are professional businesses that uh, are looking for your feedback. So secret shopping is something that should be done ethically, and it should be also done with the consent of the business involved, meaning uh, a uh, the corporate offices of a business location usually has that connection with the secret shopping company to give them permission to go into the stores and to and to make these evaluations so secret shoppers do need to um, follow the guidelines that are provided to them uh, make sure they avoid misrepresenting themselves and make sure that you ha have uh, uh, professional intentions while you are performing the evaluation. Number two, how do I become a secret shopper? Okay. 
So becoming a, a, a secret shopper, a mystery shopper, usually involves following just a few quick steps. And he, I'm going to give you a general guide on how to become a secret shopper. Uh, first thing that you want to do is do your research. So research any secret shopping companies. Make sure that you start by looking for reputable companies. Um, make sure they're well-established organizations that have good reviews um, and that they have a good track record. And you guys, uh, excuse the light. The weather here is kind of kind of funky today, so the sun is going in and out um, of the clouds. So um, you want to be cautious of, of companies that ask you to pay upfront fees or if they make unrealistic promises to you. That's usually not a good sign. Um, the next thing that you want to do is to verify the legitimacy of the company. Uh, unfortunately, there are scams in this uh, secret shopping industry, so you want to verify the legitimacy of any company that you're interested in. Uh, one way you can do that is to check and make sure that they are members of the Mystery Shopper Providers Association, um, the MSPA. Those who have been following me for a while, you've heard me say that over and over again. The MSPA provides on their website a list of their uh, uh, member companies so you can see clearly if a company is a member of the MSPA and I would say starting out um, any of the companies that I've told you about on my channel are MSPA uh, members but also go to the MSPA website yourself and look for companies that you want to work with that definitely are are with them okay the next thing that you need to do to become a uh, secret shopper or a mystery shopper is to be sure you understand the job. Uh, secret shoppers are hired to evaluate and um, assess many aspects of a business. Uh, it can vary. So it can be customer service. It can be cleanliness, like I said. It could be the quality of the products or, you know, adhering to company policy. So make sure you familiarize yourself with the expectations and the responsibilities that um, you have as a secret shopper. Um, the next thing to consider are the requirements. So different secret shopping companies have specific requirements. Um, so some common prerequisites are being a legal age for one you do have to be of legal age um, you have to have good observational skills strong written communication skills are a must um, if you are are, are not good at uh, making sure that that you have good punctuation and are able to write your reports then you may find that uh, that it's a struggle for you. You do want to be able to um, relay the information that you've collected, and you'll need to do that in the form of uh, report writing. It's not anything crazy, and it's not anything like super long, but uh, you do have to have good grammar. Okay, another thing is that you want to be able to access a computer or smartphone so that you can report your evaluations and some uh, some uh, assignments may require that you have um, a certain demographic or profile so make sure that you meet that criteria as well okay so the next thing that you need to do when you decide okay yes I can do all of these other things I can write I have a computer I have a phone you know, the companies that I want to sign up with are legitimate, then you'll sign up with the secret shopper companies. You'll visit the websites of the reputable secret shopping companies and you'll sign up to become a shopper. You need to provide some personal details, some demographics, and possibly you'll need to complete a questionnaire or take a test to assess your suitability for the role. Um, you'll create a, a, a professional profile and then any relevant skills that you have you will highlight those um, so that they will know that that's something to look for so 
So the the training and certifications, if you want to know, go in depth on that, then I do have a recent video about that. But for uh, the training and certifications, some secret shopping companies may offer training programs or certifications to enhance your skills and credibility uh, per a an assignment or per a program that they offer. And when I say program, I mean... Um, if they work with a particular client and they're running what's called a, a quarterly program, uh, then they may offer you uh, that training and certification for that. So um, once you've registered with your company, then you're going to look for the job opportunities. So you will regularly check the job board and your email notifications for available assignments. Um, you'll apply for the ones that interest you and that are good with your schedule. Um, and then you will go next and perform the assignments. So if you are selected for an assignment, make sure to read the uh, guidelines very carefully. Make sure you understand them. Visit the assigned business. Make the observations. Go ahead and evaluate what they're requiring you to evaluate. And then follow any specific ins instructions that you see and you're going to take detailed notes you know once you leave or um like once you step outside make sure you take detailed notes during your visit to assist you in completing the evaluation report later but just don't you know don't be obvious like if you're taking a few notes down on your phone or what have you don't be obvious that you're taking notes uh of course because you do your shopping in secrets like if you are a secret shopper you're a mystery shopper so the next thing that you'll do is submit your evaluation reports so after you complete the assignment you'll submit a comprehensive evaluation report and you'll have to do that within the um, required time frame so make sure to provide accurate and detailed uh, information remember to follow the company's guidelines on reporting and the formatting requirements they're gonna tell you all of that and that is why I say that uh, having a day that you do your admin is so beneficial is because there is uh, a lot of admin to this the visits you know that's the simple part but uh, your scheduling and your reporting is what takes up a good bit of time okay so the next thing is payment and feedback now they say that secret shopper companies will usually compensate shoppers for their time and reimburse any agreed upon expenses um, the reimbursement portion of that is very true and they do pay you um, a base fee for for the job but I wouldn't necessarily say that they pay you for your time they pay you for the project they pay you per project and you have to determine whether or not that's worth your time to even to even do it before you do it so uh, payment can can vary depending on what the assignment is what company it is um, so I would say that some secret shopping assignments um, pay extremely well for your time and then some secret shopping assignments are not worth your time but that's just me um, some companies will also provide feedback on your performance and this helps you to improve for future assignments that you that you get now, if you are wanting to uh, do shops close to your home, it is important to note that um, it is not guaranteed that there will be enough assignments, say in a five mile radius from your house, to you know that would pay you full time. Full time secret shopping is something very different than doing this as a hobby or a side gig 
or, you know, just for a little extra money, you can do that. And I think it's beneficial to do that because it's, it's good side money. But if you don't structure it like a business, then you're not going to make full time money. If you don't stru- if you don't have that mindset and if you don't do your schedule, if you don't have the transportation that you need to get to the places where you need to be, and if you watch my uh, first couple of videos, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Then no, it, you know. But if you do if you do have the the um transportation, if you are willing to sit down and decide on about five areas that you're willing to work in uh, in any given time and, and concentrate your work then you can make good money question number three is what is it like being a mystery shopper okay well uh, being a mystery shopper is interesting and experiences can vary uh, so I'll kind of give you an overview of what it's like to be a mystery shopper and kind of just go over some key points if I can. So in terms of purpose, uh, as a mystery shopper, you have an objective at, to assess various aspects of company operations, such as product knowledge, customer service, adherence to com- uh, company policy, cleanliness, and and the uh, overall customer experience. And so in terms of purpose, your feedback helps companies identify areas of improvement and enhance their service quality. So if you're like me, that's something that's rewarding to you because customer service is a big deal for me. I cannot stand uh, poor customer service or neglect um, in terms of the way that a business is operating. So the purpose part is good. Another aspect of being a Mr. Shopper is anonymity. It's crucial um, as a Mr. Shopper. So typically, uh, you'll be assigned a specific scenario, for instance, and you'll have a task um, that is required by the hiring company. And you're expected to blend in with regular customers ensuring that employees do not know that you're evaluating them. So this gives you the opportunity to experience the service as an ordinary customer would, which can be, you know, rewarding in a lot of cases because sometimes you're doing luxury shops. Um, You could be doing a spa shop, uh, high-end auto sales, hotels, um, resorts you know there's a, a number of 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 things that you could be doing what it's like uh it being a mystery shopper in terms of the assignments um mystery shopping assignments can vary widely so you might be asked to visit a retail store you might be asked to visit a restaurant a hotel a bank a car dealership or any type of business so each job is different so the I, I like that it is flexible in that way um, kind of unpredictable in some ways in some ways not so uh, not so much but um, there's a lot of change I like that okay the, another aspect of what it's like to be a mystery shopper is the flexibility so mystery shopping offers flexible scheduling you can choose to work assignments based on when you're available it can be part-time it can be occasional or it can be full-time depending on what you want to do or depending on your preference for the opportunities available in your area or whether or not you're willing to travel to different areas in terms of compensation Mr. Shopping offers monetary compensation for completing assignments. And although the pay can vary depending on how complex the task is, what industry is, and what location, um, you may also receive reimbursement for specific purchases or expenses that are incurred during the evaluation. One of my subscribers um, 
loves doing reimbursement shops. I'm going to reach out to her. I'm not going to say your name now because I don't want to call you out, but I'm going to reach out to you um, to see if that's something you would like to do an audio interview about so you guys can hear how she does that and why she gets so excited about it. Okay, now let's also talk about, in terms of being a mystery shopper, the challenges. So while mystery shopping can be so enjoyable, uh, it is important to note a few challenges. Like some assignments might require you to act in a certain way or ask specific questions, which can feel unnatural at times. I have had certain secret shops. Um, there is a particular type of secret shop that I have done a couple of times that I will no longer do because it makes me <laughs> uncomfortable. And it's not um, that the shop itself is anything bad, but uh, it, it's a compliance shop to make sure that companies are adhering to what they should be adhering to. But uh, in this shop, you are to pose as someone who may be trying to do something sketchy. And I, I, I don't like the energy around that. So I don't do that ever. <laughs> I've done it um, once or twice. And then I was like, no, this is not even worth my time. Because I don't, I just don't like it. Another uh, challenge for some people, depending on the area that you live in, is finding legitimate and reliable mystery shopping opportunities. Uh, sometimes that can be a lot of work if you live in a rural area and you know, if you want to do shops just around your area, that is a struggle. You have to be willing to go to a well-populated area where there are too many shops for any one person to complete. That's, that's the best way to do it. Okay, so overall, mystery shopping can be an intriguing way to earn some extra money while you provide valuable feedback to businesses. If you want to go, you know, at it from a business standpoint, it can be quite lucrative. Um, it offers you the opportunity to experience different customer service environments, uh, perhaps luxury uh, assignments and be in luxury environments that you might not normally be in. Uh, that's a lot of fun. And one of the main things, like I said, is it helps you to contribute to improving the overall customer's experience. And if customer uh, experience is something that's important to you, then you may find that very rewarding. So if you want to see a day in my life as a secret shopper, then check out the day in the life video on my channel. You guys, as always, I want to provide actionable steps that you can use right away. Be sure to check out my channel for more helpful videos and grab your guide and tracking sheets. The links are below. Thank you for watching.